Well, drive sober or make a plan to get home safely on the 4th of July. That is the message tonight coming from state police. Thanks for staying with WJZ at 530. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Lynn Bowie. A specially trained unit will be out in full force, ready to take impaired drivers off the road. Yeah, the warning is front and center tonight. WJZ live at 530. Christina Mendez shares how impaired driving can change the course of your entire life. Christina. Hey guys, well, this is really a trickle down effect. We know that people who choose to drive impaired can end up hurting someone, killing someone's family member, and also serve jail time. And one mother I spoke with today says that this is a personal experience of her own after someone hit her son in a drunk driving accident. And it was hit head on. Changing our lives forever. Kim Sizemore's son was 27 years old when a convicted drunk driver hit him head on in Anne Arundel County. Bennett survived but suffered life changing injuries. The injuries Bennett suffered have caused him to lose his job and his career due to the inabilities to climb a ladder fully bend his hand and difficulty walking. Ahead of the 4th of July weekend, Sizemore's story is one Maryland State Police are hoping to use as a reminder to drive sober or pick a designated driver who will be. Hopefully, many of you already made the commitment to avoid impaired driving. As law enforcement, we would like this practice to become as natural as securing your seatbelt. A special team of five troopers called the State Police Impaired Driving Reduction Effort, or SPIDER, will work in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. areas, taking people suspected of driving under the influence off the roads this holiday. And this tool is also here to help. The Mobile Breath Alcohol Testing Truck. It's a resource that we make available to all law enforcement agencies across the state and is used to process impaired drivers at the scene of DUI checkpoints, special enforcement initiatives, as well as traffic stop. Over the past five years in Maryland, data from MDOT shows nearly 800 people have been killed and more than 15,000 have been hurt in crashes involving impaired driving. But officials say you can steer clear of hurting yourself or others by sticking to a sober plan. It's a personal responsibility each and every time you get behind the wheel to keep others safe by not driving impaired. Law enforcement also talks about if you're going to walk, ride a scooter, bike ride, just pay extra attention where more cars will be on the road. Make sure to put those phones down and take out any headphones you may be wearing. I'm reporting live from Baltimore City tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC.